All right, here we go. Stop getting that guy. All right. So we got the product room. Um, you with do bikes too. Huh? You do like little side notes too. Yes. In fact, I'm also going to show you a little trick when we're all said and done. All right. So um, to do the product rule, you're supposed to follow the rule. You know, f of g. All that means is like this is f. This is g. I know this says this is g of x. And that's what's confusing. But really, the first one's f of x. The second one's g of x. And so that's when we're going to take those and we'll find the prime of those, right? Or the derivative. So, real quickly, I just want to know what's the derivative of f of x. So that means we're going to take this, <laughs> x squared plus 3. We're going to multiply, right? We get 2x. And the 3 drops away, remember. There's the x to the 0, and the 0 kills the 3. So that's why it's gone. All right. And then we're going to find g prime x. Okay? And so g prime x is two plus x. 2. Good. So we already we know it's squared and 4x, right? So it's going to be 2x, you know. Right? So 2x, and then what? No, zero, zero. Does the 4 go away? Yeah. Not this time. Wait, what? No, Why not? Because, uh... Oh, this is negative, right? Not, not negative, because oh, there's actually one. a 1 here. Yes. The hidden 1. There's actually a 1, so we're going to take that 1 times 4 and get... There you go. So that's the derivative. Okay? So that's the power rule, right? All right, so now uh, we can set up the formula, right? And the formula says over here, we're going to take f of x, the regular f of x. So we're going to take that normal x squared plus 3, right? We're going to multiply it by what? Uh, g of x? g prime of x, g prime of x. which would be the green one, right? So 2x plus, or minus 4, right? And then we're going to add f prime of x, which is what? The 2x, right? Times g of x. Now I did change this in the, in the book. It says g of x times f prime of x. But it doesn't matter which order. 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3, right? So I, I just kind of like to keep it as f of x, g of x, f of x, g of x. That's my, that's my rhythm. Okay, and then it's going to be multiplying by the normal g of x. So that's the one that's up there that says uh, x squared minus 4x. And so now we're going to multiply these guys. Okay? Wait, what? What? So this is this guy. Oh, okay. Got it? All right. So let's multiply these. Everybody on the block gets the paper. So boom, we got 2x cubed. Boom, we got minus 4x squared. Boom, we got 6x. And boom, we got plus, no, minus 12. Okay, and then it's all of this plus what we what we multiply on the Wait, next. Uh, why didn't you put like a sign in between four and six? Ah, I should. So what would that sign be? Oh, so you meant to do that? Would it positive. I, it should be positive. Yeah, I was thinking sure you were listening. That's what teachers do. It's like yeah, we love you. So. We want to make sure you're listening and following along, and we make mistakes on purpose. All right, so then, all right, then we got two x cubed and minus eight x squared. Good. And then we just add the two up, right? So what I like to do is just underline the ones that are common, and then I'll 
look for this guy over here and add him up. Um, what is it? So 2 plus 2x cubed is 4x cubed, right? And then negative uh, 4x squared minus 8x squared would be minus 12x squared, right? And then 6x, well, doesn't go with anything, so that would be plus 6x, and then minus 12. Yeah? Does that work? It's all done. And so d over dx of f of x, uh, g of x is equal to this. Not faster. And that's the answer. That's easy. Not bad, right? Well, now, um, I don't know what's easier. I was kind of thinking, honestly, as a side note, I was thinking this. I was thinking, hey, let's take the x squared plus the 3 times the x squared minus the 4x, right? And then do this, which is x to the 4th. This, which is minus uh, 4x cubed. This, which is plus 3x squared. And this, which is minus 12x, right? And then take the derivative. That would be 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 3, or sorry, 6x minus 12. Is that the same? Yep. Holy moly. So this would be my method, not the book. Um, I think it's faster, quicker, and more efficient. However, uh, it is good to know uh, the product formula, right? But um, as you can see, finding the product and then finding the derivative can be just as easy. Okay? Quotient's a little bit different, so that's what we'll do next. Hey, girl. Hey girl, love you girl. <laughs>